Hello people from YouTube, this is Pi. Today I'm here to show you my uh, new version of uh, uh, Blue Black Murktide. It's not very um, different from the previous list. I think uh, the ban of uh, Nadu and Griff uh, um, impacted um, with uh, good changes for, uh, for the format because I think, as I explained in the previous videos, that a lot of decks uh, that uh, previously uh, weren't playable due to an Adu or Griff uh, now will rise, for example Amulet uh, or, uh, or um, uh, decks uh, with rings, uh, Yogumot, etc. So I think uh, Murtad usually has a good matchup versus those because we have uh, fast, uh, fast threat and a lot of interactions but uh, also I think that uh, Boros and Mardu will grow in numbers so just uh, wanted to keep uh, um, a lot of cards versus those. In particular, I'm playing uh, um, free spells near in the main alongside uh, uh, free strength scolding in the sideboard. I added one uh, glistening deluge. I think I, I like this card in my testing. So he added one more copy. So nowadays we have seven uh, uh, sideboard cards versus uh, Boros and Mardu, especially um, like. I like the fact that we basically side in uh, additional cards uh, to the main deck plan. So we have now six uh, one mana counter spell to be protected against Raptor or Rajani on, tur on turn one on the draw. We have four rat effects, and uh, all the cards already do what uh, the deck tries to do. So contain uh, their game plan while uh, we develop uh, ours. Um, I know that uh, some ring, some players uh, started to play ring uh, uh, in Boros. That's why I'm playing one consign to memory in the main. I also think that nowadays Eldrazi will be big. So having one consign to memory, I tried this in the past in the main deck and it was a fine sideboard card, uh, and but also a decent main deck card. And I think uh, it's good. Um, we, when it's not good, you can just discard it with a uh, Psychic Frog. Then I'm playing Go For The Throat, mostly because uh, um, I'm worried about the mirror now. I think this deck really gained uh, popularity and it will be more played, so Go For The Throat is good in mirror and it's also good versus Eldrazi. I left uh, um, Long Goodbye mostly because uh, it was a very good way to deal with Frog and Teferi from uh, um, Gorio, but I don't expect Gorio anymore, at least not, not as big as it was before, mostly because uh, Griff was a big gamer there, so I just prefer to play Go For The Throat. Uh, I tried uh, shoot the sheriff, but uh, not being able to deal with Ragavan, considering Ragavan is one of the uh, of the most uh, popular card nowadays uh, due to Boros, uh, I don't think it's worth. So I just play go for the throat. I'm still playing the Arbinger in the in the main. I think uh, it's a very good way uh, to win random games, especially now that people are trying stuff. So um, usually in the first weeks uh, after a ban list, uh, um, I really like to play punishing cards. So we are gonna play the Arbingers, and the rest is the same basically. From the sideboard, I have uh, more squared plans. So I have uh, this plan versus Boros versus Eldrazi. I just side uh, those six cards. Of course, you have uh, one more copy of this in the main, so the the matchup should be probably problematic maybe in the main deck, considering we also have uh, Arbinger. So I think it's kind of even. But post board, uh, you basically try to break uh, whatever they do by attacking their mana and attacking the stack. Then we have uh, extirpate, especially for uh, just sky or uh, um, control decks that uh, just have flage as a win condition. Because if you analyze uh, um, just sky control, uh, the only way they can win games is uh, looping flages. So even if you don't have a real way to deal with the ring. Um, you can just extirpate a flage, and I think extirpate is uh, also valuable versus uh, um, other decks that uh, will be popular and they just play flage as Wincon. And uh, as last card, I'm I'm playing uh, Neil Spellbomb for fair flage decks for Boros. The rest is uh, you just uh, overlap cards, of course, because Constant Memory is also strong versus Control decks with rings, etc. Uh, for the sideboard uh, in the mirror, I think I would side uh, free scolding and one spell bomb, and uh, and that's it. So we just uh, you just cut uh, some cards that doesn't uh, do much, so you can cut uh, 
the consign, some um, some countries, uh, the forces, etc. So I really like the, the sideboard plan. Of course, if you want to see uh, the full sideboard sheet, uh, I will post it on uh, uh, Patreon as always. And if you have any question regarding the deck building or uh, any ideas you want to share, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, now I will play a league uh, with the with the seventy five.